18 years of hard work and determination has taken him to where he is today. I couldn't think of anybody better to introduce you to our new corporate core values. Please welcome Mr. Brian Walter. <laughs> Yesterday, we were at a lot of different cities, and the last place we stopped was Westgate Mesa in Arizona. And we gave this similar speech in front of 15 people. But I'll tell you, when we gave in front of those 15 people, we were just as passionate as we are today. But I gotta be honest, looking at this crowd, which I can kind of see, it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing that all of you came here today to be part of the launch of our mission statement and core values. So you know why we're here. We're literally here on a mission. A mission for our organization, a mission for our company. Um, thinking about the mission statement really got me to think about an interview I had several weeks ago. So everyone's been in an interview before and I'm asking all these questions, right? I'm asking, you know, tell me about your personality, tell me about your experience, you know, situational questions. But then I ask a question, I say, why do you want this job? Do you know what he said? Because of the title. I was like, wait a minute, the title, that's your answer? Instantly I think he realized he got that answer wrong. I mean, no question, right? But then I thought, what is the right answer? What's the right answer for why you want this job? Why do you want to work for this company? And I thought, it's our mission statement. I mean, think about it. How many of you have bills to pay? You got rent, right? Food, kids, and things are expensive. I got a little boy. He's not cheap, and my dog, he's no cheaper than my son. I mean, they're expensive, right? But be honest, outside of working to pay your bills, you know, to have those financial necessities, outside of that, why? Why this job? Why this career? Why this company? And you gotta think about it. If you can say, I love what I do, I love who I do it with, and I love who I do it for, then you're gonna find happiness in your career. For those who work a ton of hours, this should be our goal. This should be what we want to accomplish. This should be our mission. And there might be many of you in this room that says, yeah, that's me. But if that's not you, why not? Right? You've got a great facility. You've got great leadership. So ask yourself, why isn't that me? Because it all starts with the mindset. If you get out of bed and you say, oh, I got to go to work today. I just want to sit at the pool. Maybe read a book have a drink, a beer. If you're so negative going into work, you can't expect you're gonna leave and be like, that was a great day, right? Because what you put into something is a direct reflection of what you get out of it. So if you put 50% into something, you can't expect 100% out of it, right? right? So it's critical to go with the right mindset, to believe each and every day. When I go in, my goal is I wanna love this job. I wanna love the people I work with. And I wanna love the guests who I serve. I gotta tell you, there's nothing better in this world than to serve others, or at least for me, because it's so gratifying to be able to do that. But, in order to be able to accomplish this mission, we have to surround ourselves with core values. Our mission centers our core values. So how do we come up with these core values? We brought all the, the, the high leaders around the company, you know, GMs, directors, VPs, and brought them in and said, what is your team value? What do you guys value? The top performers on your team, what do they value and what's that commonality amongst them? And we came up with three core values. And I promise you, if you're successful in anything you do in life, you have all three of these. First, passion, right? Anything you love, anything you're good at, you're passionate about, aren't you? So I had this amazing opportunity to go develop a GM training program 11, 12 years ago. And instead of developing this management training program from an office, I got to go in every position, right? Even though I worked a lot throughout the resorts, I got to go work in engineering, food and beverage, housekeeping. Who here is in housekeeping? Yeah. 
Okay, so was I the only person that when I clean rooms and housekeepers, please let me know. When I was a housekeeper, I'd walk up to a door. First thing I do before I open, I pray. Be clean, be clean, be clean. And I open the door, like, no! Why? Maybe if I put a do not disturb, no one will know. Right? We all had that feeling as housekeepers just saying, why? We all, but each job has those individual nuances, those unique things, right? Engineering, front desk, food and beverage, we all have something unique. But the one position I learned the most from was the grounds position. So the property I'm doing this training program is Westgate Vacation Villas, 180 acres, massive property, almost 3,500 units. And there's a whole team dedicated to just picking up trash. That's the job, just to pick up trash. So I go there in this position, because I'm doing every position in the property, and the ground supervisor just thinks I'm a new hire, okay? Introduces me, welcomes me to the team and says, I wanna let you know the most important thing about this job. If you don't do your job, Westgate closes down. I was like, what? He's like, if we don't pick up trash, Westgate goes out of business. I was like, oh, I'm picking up trash, okay, I'm, 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 I'm listening. And then he said this, I want you to think about it. When you go to a hotel, you go on vacation, if there's trash everywhere, if the place is dirty, are you gonna go back? I was like, no. He's like, are you gonna tell your friends and family to not go there because it's dirty and there's trash everywhere? I go, yeah, probably tell them not to go. And maybe even go online and tell other people, don't go to this property because it's dirty and there's trash all over the place. Fair point. He said, and then if you're not going and your family's not going, and then more and more guests come there and there's trash all over the place and they don't go, eventually people stop coming to this property. Yeah. And if people stop coming to this property, then Westgate Vacation Villas will eventually close down. And if Westgate Vacation Villas, is the backbone of this company, if they close down, then eventually all of our properties will close down. So if you don't pick up trash, Westgate goes out of business. I was like, whoa. Right? I've, I've, I've mentored VPs, executives, never heard something so profound as that. And it's true. But what was so amazing was his passion. And his passion came from purpose. And his purpose was, we do our job and pick up trash to keep this company afloat. So what are you passionate about? What's your purpose? What's your why? Why do you get out of bed? Why do you go to work? Why do you do what you do? Because I'm telling you, that why is gonna be the difference of you coming to work and saying, yeah, I'm here to do a job versus I can't wait to make a difference. But you gotta think about what's your why. Our next core value, work ethic. All right, so I'm gonna do a little exercise and I need some participation, right? So I'm gonna ask a few questions and if these questions apply to you, I need you to stand up and remain standing, okay? All right? And it's a good opportunity to stand up because you've all been sitting for a little bit. So if you've worked a six or a seven day week to help out the property, to help your guests, please stand up. If you've had to come in early or stay late to help the property, help the guests, help your team, please stand up. If you've had to work nights, weekends, holidays, miss a kid's birthday, miss a family event, miss a special occasion, to be here at this property, to help your team, to help your guests, please stand up. Now I want you to look around. Look at one another. I could put every fancy slide in the world, but at the end of the day, this is what work ethic looks like. You are work ethic. It's because of you that Westgate exists. It's because of you that our business is still here. So please put your hands together for the people that work so hard for Westgate. Thank you, you may be seated. I want you to think about this. I want you to think that if our front desk is not here, we have no one to check in our guests. If our housekeepers aren't here, we have no one to clean our rooms. If our maintenance team is not here, we have no one to fix our rooms. If our food and beverage team isn't here, we have no one to serve food to our guests. If Mark, Tom, myself, if we're not here, what happens? Nothing. <laughs> you guys run this business, you run this property. Your work ethic, what you put in each and every day, 
is what's carrying this company to the next level. And trust me, I know it's hard. I know what it's like to be here late at night. I know what it's like to feel like you're all alone, right? It might be late at night, you're walking through the hallways, not sure if anyone truly knows how hard you're working, but we do. We do know, because you're the reason why this company is running the way it is. You carry the workload, you are work ethic. And that's amazing, and that's fantastic what you sacrifice. And you sacrifice so much for the Westgate family. And that we appreciate, never forget it. And the final core value, integrity. What's integrity? Honesty, what else? Doing the right thing when no one's watching. Who? Who is that? That was excellent. Doing the right thing when no one is looking. They say character is defined by how you act when no one is around. Doing the right things for the right reasons when no one's looking. That's true integrity. So we've come up with this, um, we come up with this theory and the, this, this exercise of belief that of windows and mirrors, all right? So stay with me. What happens when you look out a window, right? You see through it. So when something goes right, when you win an award, when your boss says, great job, you pass that credit through the window to your team. So if I'm a front desk agent, my boss comes to me and says, Brian, you're doing excellent. Today you just crushed it. I appreciate that. But honestly, if housekeeping didn't get into those rooms clean for me, if, front, if, if engineering couldn't fix those rooms for me, if the valet didn't greet them and the doorman didn't greet them, I could have never provided that level of service. It's because of them that I'm successful. Right? That's windows. Then we have mirrors. What happens when you look in a mirror? You see yourself. I hope you see yourself. Unless there's someone behind you and then that's just awkward, right? Right? You see yourself. So it's about reflection. When something doesn't go right, when you fail, right? When you don't accomplish your goals. Instead of saying it's her fault, it's his fault, it's their fault. You ask yourself, what could I have done to contribute to a better outcome? What could I have done to improve? So Brian, you're saying when everything goes right, I give away the credit. When everything goes wrong, I have to reflect on myself? Yeah. That's what leaders do. And I'm here to tell you, in this company, you must be a leader in order to be a manager, but you don't have to be a manager to be a leader. We all can be leaders. You just have to have the ability and desire to want to inspire others, to help inspire your team, to give credit to your team and self-reflect when things do not go right. That's the most critical thing that we can do. That's what leaders do. See, leadership is gauging your success, not on your ability to be better than others, but instead, your ability to make others better. So these are our core values. This is what we believe. I asked you earlier, I said, why do you do what you do? I'll tell you, I ask that every day to myself. I come up with the same answer. The people in this room. Truly why I do what I do. That's why I'm so passionate. Like, I'm one of those people, I get out of bed, I'm like, let's go do this. Come on. And my wife's like, just calm down. You know those morning people? I'm one of those people. And I'm like, why? Because I have in my mind that maybe I could come here and inspire one person. Or maybe I could develop a new program, new software, something we can do to assist our team, support our team. That's where my passion comes from. That's why I work so hard, because when I'm, when I'm working late at night, and I feel like I'm walking down a hallway, or I'm outside, and it might be one in the morning, I'm still working. I'm doing that because I know you're doing that too. I know that although I may not be able to see you at that moment, I know you're working just as hard. Because hard work is so critical. And I'm here to tell you that no amount of education or intellects can replace hard work. Because hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. And my integrity, our integrity, comes from your success. We measure our success on your success. These are why we do what we do. But why do you do what you do? Every one of you are critical to this goal. That mission, love what you do, who you do it with, who you do it for, that's our mission. Those core values, we have to embrace them. But it can't just be, you know, myself, Mark, Jared, Tom, Victor, Rolling, Cammy, it can't be us, it has to be you. You have to carry that out, every single one of you. Because if you take a bottle of water and you put one drop of poison in it, what happens? You contaminate the whole water, right? Each one of you are a drop to our success, a drop in our culture. 
So that drop has to embrace these core values and believe in this mission. Each one of you have to commit yourself to this because it's you that's going to carry this out. It's you that's going to take Westgate to the next level. It's because of you that we exist. So I said, let's go build our future. Thank you very much.